the Joe Rogan experience. I'm always amazed that you and you know handful of other people can sustain like a uh, two hour conversation. I love that. I, Anybody I, I, can. You can do it too. I know. It's, I think I can, but that was never allowed to. There was always right. th those rules were always like, like cut to commercial. Yeah. 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 It's you nonsense. had hard breaks. I'm doing a podcast and the other day, and I'm like, thanks for tuning in. We're almost out of time. I'm like, you didn't tune in, and we're not almost out of time. I can yeah. do whatever the hell I want. Yeah, whatever I want. No such thing. I can just out keep talking. We can just keep talking. Well, the worst thing is presidential debates. You're uh, literally they're horrible. picking the horrible. person who's going to run the free world. World, and you have to stop because there's a Palmolive commercial. Is Palmolive even a thing? Or you know, I'm such an old man. Listen, uh, I'm pulling out fucking Palmolive references. I, I think they're usually pharmaceutical <laughs> companies at this point. Pfizer. Yeah, so but it's a it's boner pill. The irony crush. of them talking about the pharmaceutical companies and then they advertise during the break. But you're absolutely, yeah, it's not real. The, I mean, the presidential debates are so not real. And all those networks, I mean, my friends produce those things. And it's just yeah. like, it's a show. It's it's like, well, uh, when you get Bernie, like when I had Bernie Sanders in here and you get to talk to him like yeah. a real human being yes you go oh you're a, you're a human being who cares about people and you have a different perspective on what these people are saying your your idea of democratic socialism is not this wacky socialism it's not a sound where people bite. yeah and it's not this thing where people think you're just going to steal money from hard working folks and give it to lazy people that's the worst case you know, it's stereotype. None of that. It's, it's none, none of that. that. No, it's, it's that. not. We're gonna. We're not gonna privatize no. shoe stores and He's gyms. He's a very thoughtful person. Very yeah, I was talking to his. Because uh, as I told you, I'm thinking very seriously now about also running for Congress. And uh, I was talking to his, I think, deputy chief of staff, a guy named Ari Ravenhoff, great guy. And I was, I was telling him I was doing your show, and he told me that after Bernie Sanders t did your show. He, everybody was recognizing him. I'm like, really? Like, he reached a whole different demographic talking to you than he ever had before because he's mostly on those cable news shows. He's mostly on terrestrial or, or you know, radio. But when you do these, I, I, what do you even call this now? Non-traditional alternative media? It might as well be mainstream. But the point is, when you have a long conversation with Bernie Sanders and he's not like up there, you know what we have to do? The, you know, all yeah. that shit yeah. is is annoying. You've heard it before. He sits right. down and has a real conversation with you and everybody's like, oh man, that guy's making a lot of good points. Yeah. Well, you got to think of like what is annoying to people. And one of the things that's <laughs> annoying to people is that fucking rapid fire not... Yeah. Blah, 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 yeah. Blah, 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 yeah, the blah, cadence. Blah, and healthcare I'm, and Medicare and education should be free. And, blah, blah, blah. and like, they, like people are like, hey, 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 fuck face. I just got off work. Yeah. Okay? Why are you yelling this at... This guy's why are annoying you? and he wants to take my money. Fuck him. And you just press stop. Right, and that's you have to be able to change your cadence, your diction, and your commentary, and you have to be able to get questions that are more thoughtful and human. That's the thing about all these cable news interviewers and network; like they always want to get some headline, and that's the yeah. other thing you know about corporate media too. They want you. So I've been in that belly of that beast, Joe, for the last fifteen years. Corporate, right. you know, political media, and it's so manufactured. I right. could tell you so many stories. They call you up and they say. You know, how do you feel about anything? We want to make sure that you're completely the opposite of the other panelists and so that you have a really robust argument. And it's like, not everything is binary. Most things aren't. There's a ton of nuance, a ton of gradation. We don't have to hate each other. That, that, that's how they get ratings. That's how they sell advertising. I blame most of the problems in our country on corporate media terrestrial radio just doing that format all day it works really well for conservatives not as well for liberals but it still works and they sell ads and every, a few people make a lot of money but the country suffers this the, the idea that we're so divided is such bullshit i talk to people from all over the country travel all over the place i understand the issues really intimately and i don't care what you think about anything. There's something you have to offer me. There's something you have to make my life to enrich me. I don't care what you believe on abortion or guns or certain things, because if you could teach me how to fix this engine, I'm into it. I want to yeah. learn how to, if you could teach me how to exercise better, but you don't like uh, our trade policies, I don't give a shit what you think about our trade policies. Let's just not even talk about it. Let's talk about the things. And it's it, it, trying to get to the, the, the root of somebody's soul is what we should all be trying to do. Every day, we should try. What what happened to you that made you think this way? What is the experience? What is your journey? To me, that's the fascinating shit about human beings. Well, one of the things about something like cable talk shows or you know news shows or any of these political arenas is that there's a, a lack of real interaction 
with the general public in terms of like real real conversations with people. You you have a host who's wearing makeup, who's got spotlights on him, and there's a microphone in front of him, and he's talking to these other people, and there's cameras pointed at them, and no one really feels like this is this is not it's a, a norm, play, but it's not a normal way of people talking. No, nobody and, talks like that, and rarely you see someone sit down and they like every now and then they have those shows where like it's a one on one, like Trump will sit across from fucking what's his name, what's that dude's name, which network. It's a Fox guy. Hannity? No, Dobbs. the other. Dobbs, that guy. Yeah. Who's hilarious. It's, it's funny watching the two of them together. Uh, I mean, Dobbs is lost his mind. He's just taking that ass and going like just. Uh, he is <laughs> all, he is digging he's way in. in. But it works. It, he's <laughs> making, I used to know, I used to be on with that guy, the, the most pleasant guy in the world. But what he's doing, he is, it's so much, it's a North Korean situation. Lou Dobbs, it's like state media. Every night, it doesn't matter. You know, he shall not be questioned kind of guy. Worship the president. It's like, what are you doing? That's not even, but but that's the, the it's, I once got into this long drawn out argument with Chris Cuomo, who I like a lot, but I was talking to him about, you know, listen, man, the difference between TV and radio, it's simple. It's, and radio, you can have a long form, you can have a 20 minute to two hour conversation and it's real and you get a lot done. On TV, you can have a five minute conversation. I go, there's so many guests that you have on your show that I have on my show, they're, they're way more, they have a, a, the ability to be thoughtful and nuanced yeah. and, and make points. They can't do that on cable. And now, you know, he's doing a radio show. So good for him. Well, that's what I was getting at is that this separation between the people and then the, the just unnatural environment that they're in, no one can relate to it. What they can relate to is two people just talking to each other. They can't relate to it, Joe, but they also think because they're conditioned to that if it's on a network, this person must be an authority right. and must be intelligent. But I'm here to tell everybody, I was talking about credit default swaps in the financial industry. I have an associate's degree and came up in the New York City comedy clubs. Like, I really didn't have any business talking about that. But the thing is, I could sound really smart for three and a half minutes on anything. Get me to minute five, I can't go that deep on certain issues, and I shouldn't be an authority on it, but just because I'm on cable news with a, a jacket and a shirt, and I'm this guy, people are like, oh, okay, well, I'll believe this guy. Now, it, it's not real. No, it's not real. That's a dying medium, too. Uh, I don't think 20, 30 years from now, that's going to exist in the same Pro form. Shorter than that. Yeah, and then the whole, also the interjection of commercials every seven minutes. The things that they're doing on debates is the same thing they're doing on these other cable talk shows where they're trying to encapsulate these things into these very have quick five-minute sound bites. And Have you ever heard of uh, Intelligence Squared debates? Yes. My friend John Donvan is the moderator. He's, he should be moderating the presidential debates. He's the greatest guy. They have these really well-informed panelists. They have a motion, and they do like two hours. Mm -hmm. And you can come in thinking – so often, one idea about the issue, uh, and you leave thinking something completely different because you have these very smart people debating with an excellent moderator who doesn't let any bullshit, and you really learn a lot. No commercial breaks. <laughs>